This is the old kayak seat removed. I've got a fairly lightweight aluminum bar that I'm going to cut and determine where I can place it along the kayak. Uh, there'll be two sections of it to hold the replacement seat. And this is the replacement seat. It's an Ascend seat, which I found for a fairly good price online and I'll modify a little bit and fit it into this rail hopefully and uh, that will become the new kayak seat this has a star shaped pattern with a security feature in it so I'll have to I had to purchase a special tool to remove that particular screw. Here I've cut the U-bars into shape. You can see the front and the rear. I rounded the ends off of them so they would be less likely to cut you. I also cut a small notch into this side because my uh, parachute anchor, drag anchor cord runs along that point. Here you can see the seat roughly in the position that it will be in. I haven't mounted it yet to the bars. It's just really sitting on top of them. So I've had to do another modification. What I found was that these U-shaped bars, while they fit the rail of the seat, the seat itself is cut at an angle, so when you fit them in, the bar bends like this. I thought that just cutting a couple of ends on the bar would be enough to allow the seat to pass through, but what happens is this angle is enough that it bends the whole bar in this direction, so if I mount it, what will happen is the seat won't be flush. So what I ended up doing was I purchased another couple of bars. Uh, these came from Tractor Supply, actually. They're even a little bit lighter. And when I use these bars, they're just L-shaped bars, they'll be able to move at any angle that the seat will move in. So I have one for the rear, and I have one for the front. And now I can put the seat in it at any angle. So at this point, I've taken some bolts and um, I pick up these specialty connectors, uh, nut, plastic nut connectors at Lowe's. And um, Drill holes through the aluminum bar and fasten the seat both front and rear with these connectors. And um, what that will, will enable me to do is um, once the seat's mounted in a position, um, I can also easily take the seat off if I need to. So um, I, I think I like that idea. So to secure the bar to the kayak, there's two ways you can go. Uh, one is a product called a well nut, and uh, these are commonly used on kayaks. And basically, you drill a hole, insert the well nut into it, and then as you draw the screw from this side, the rubber flange will contract, and that holds the uh, well nut into place, and uh, whatever you're trying to secure. The other way to go is a product called a rivet nut. And these particular rivet nuts are stainless steel. I ordered them through the internet. And um, they're the same size as my, as my um, 
stainless steel bolts. There's a way to tighten up the rivet nut, and there's a lot of um, different websites on the internet on how to do that. Uh, so if that's something you plan on doing, uh, it just makes sense to check those out. And um, it's fairly straightforward. And again, this will also collapse and tighten up under the uh, inner wall of the kayak, and then the uh, bolt will screw down uh, and hold whatever you're trying to secure. So I painted the crossbars black because the shiny aluminum surface wasn't really that attractive. I first sanded with uh, about 80 grit sandpaper, which is recommended on aluminum to get the shine off. I then prepped it with acetone, waited for that to dry, and then I used a self-etching primer, which is rec recommended on aluminum so that um, Rust-Oleum or another paint will adhere to that. And it helps to rough the surface up a little bit, I understand. So I did two coats of the self-etching primer, and then I followed up with the flat protective enamel uh, with a few coats of that, and uh, the results looked pretty good, and so I was happy with it. So I basically had two options to fasten the seat to the kayak. One was the rivet nut, and this one's stainless steel, and the other was the well nut. And this is an inch long well nut with a um, aluminum washer, and this is a stainless steel bolt. Uh, I actually chose the well nut as opposed to the rivet nut, and primarily because the rivet nut which is stainless steel, it's hard, and I figured, well, it would be um, tarnish and rust resistant. It was fairly hard to compress. Uh, stainless steel isn't quite as hard as hardened steel, but it's still very hard. And the kayak hull, hull is just a soft plastic, so what would happen was this would start to um, compress, but it wasn't compressing as tightly as I would have liked it to. What I might have purchased instead were aluminum nuts. Um, that would be softer, it might not be quite as strong, but I would think aluminum would, would be much easier to compress. So for folks who might try to make this seat uh, adjustment, uh, you might consider to use the aluminum nuts. Uh, this did seem to work out fairly well. Um, the holes are actually fairly similar in size. Um, and I inserted this in, I put a little bit of adhesive on this side and tightened these up and um, that's what I eventually went with. So here's the completed upgraded kayak seat. You can see the painted aluminum crossbars. You can see the uh, stainless steel bolts and the well nuts. The seat will remove again. Folds down perfectly. Uh, I can also put some gear underneath the seat, which is a real plus. And, uh, <clears throat> it's comfortable to sit in, and it should make a better fishing platform, I believe. And again, this wasn't part of a kit. It's just a seat that I got online. Uh, the crossbars I'd seen other do, others do on different videos, somewhat similar to this. Uh, a little difference, a lot of them did this upgrade on Ascend kayaks and lifted the seat up. This is an Ascend kayak seat, but uh, the kayak itself is a Liquid Logic Manta Ray. So none of this was stock. Uh, fortunately, I think it'll work out fine. And so for others who may have similar notions of elevating their seat, uh, this is just a, another possible way to go.